My name is Chao Wang, and I'm a science manager in the Alexa Speech Organization. Uh, today, I'm going to be speaking to you about acoustic event detection. Audio is more than speech. Imagine the universe of sounds, a baby crying, two cars crashing into each other, or a gunshot going off. When we hear any of these sounds, our brain is capable of identifying them immediately and then probably also infer what has happened that caused them. So acoustic event detection, uh, sometimes you'll hear me refer to them as AED, is an umbrella term that refers to the technology of processing audio to understand sound. Um, there are actually a few different flavors to set up the problem. Audio tagging, which is uh, the task of taking an audio input and try to decide if certain events are present in the audio. Acoustic event detection will try to not only identify the sounds, the events, but also try to determine when did they happen in that audio clip. Um, there's also more complex tasks that pays attention to more than just a few events. Um, so, for example, acoustic scene analysis would rely on different combinations of sounds that are characteristic of a particular scene to decide whether, for example, this is an audio that indicates a train station or um, a very peaceful lakefront. So, what can we use audio acoustic event detection to bring new features to Alexa customers. Let me tell you about Alexa Guard. So most of the times when we interact with Alexa, we talk to the device and ask a question and Alexa would respond. Um, Alexa Guard actually works when you are away from your devices, actually away from your home. Um, imagine that you want Alexa to keep an eye on your house when you when the house is unoccupied, you can set Alexa in guarding mode and Alexa would pay attention to certain types of events and then send you a notification uh, if these events were detected. Um, in 2019, we launched the capability of detecting sounds like glass breaking, smoke or CO alarm. Um, this year, we're going to offer Alexa users the capability of monitoring for human activities when they are away from the home. Um, so, for example, they want to deter intruders uh, to their home and Alexa can play sirens when uh, it detects human activities when you don't expect there should be human in your home. We are also using acoustic event detection to enable a new feature we call it sound detection routines. Um, I'm not sure if you are aware of routines feature in Alexa. Um, this is the capability of allowing you to customize Alexa's behavior uh, without you having to issue uh, the verbatim commands. For example, you can set Alexa uh, to have an alarm going off at six o'clock and then tell you the weather and then play your favorite radio station, or just by setting this as a routine in your Alexa app. Uh, so sound detection routine would allow the user to set these kind of actions based on sound triggers. For example, baby crying, snore, or cough. And uh, imagine you can say, turn on the best master bedroom light if the baby cries, so that new parents would, make, would be more assured that they will wake up because the lights are on and they wouldn't sleep through a baby cry event. So I'll end my talk with just a brief mentioning of three papers we're presenting in this conference. The first paper is about uh, acoustic scene analysis. As I mentioned, acoustic scenes are characterized by unique combinations of sound patterns. So we talked about, uh, in this paper, we present a methodology to use multi-head attention network uh, to do this task. And what's most interesting to me is that the attention head seems to be able to capture hidden sound events that uh, corresponds to meaningful sound patterns. This next paper leverages an effective methodology in the computer vision field 
um, to detect objects within a, an image um, without having labels of the uh, object's specific location. So we're using this technology to do uh, acoustic event detection so that we use only the sound level uh, annotation, uh, but using this methodology to be able to tell actually where a particular target event happens within the, uh, the sound uh, recording. The third paper is actually based on an, an intern project. Chun Chi Chan is a student at um, Johns Hopkins University who interned us earlier this year. Um, his project explores uh, the space of knowledge distillation. Knowledge distillation is a very important technology for my team because we're interested in building very compact, efficient detectors that can run on devices, but also still achieve the same uh, or similar um, accuracy compared to much larger sophisticated models. So this project, um, we explored the intra-utterance similarity um, as an additional uh, constraints in the training of the model. So with that, uh, we conclude our presentation portion of our session. Shiv, Aria, Andrew, and myself will be joining the live webcam to answer your questions. Please start typing your questions in the chat window, and then we'll do our best to answer them. Thank you.